In the previous videos, we've looked at electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions on a variety of substituted benzenes. We started with toluene, which has an alkyl group. Then we looked at anisole, which has an alkoxy group. And then we looked at the nitro group. And now we're going to be looking at the electrophilic aromatic substitution of a benzene ring that has a halogen. Again, I'm going to be using the NO2 plus as my electrophile, but all of this that we're going to be coming um, deciding on today, this will all apply no matter what the electrophile is. So again, we're going to be looking at the three possible mechanisms, placing the nitro group in the ortho, meta, or para position, analyzing the mechanisms for each one of these reactions. We can see that when we do this reaction with um, the ortho attack, we have a fourth resonant structure, really similar to when we did this reaction with, al with an um, alkoxy benzene, with anisole. Once that positive charge gets up to the top of the ring, the lone pair of electrons are able to, uh, from the chlorine, are able to come down and make a carbon-chlorine double bond and put that positive charge uh, out of the ring onto the chlorine. It's not a great place for a positive charge, but it's better than nothing. And having that fourth resonance structure really helps to stabilize the sigma complex. For the meta attack, we'll see that that positive charge never gets itself to the correct carbon atom for that fourth resonance structure to exist. And as you can imagine, for the para mechanism, just like the ortho mechanism, once that positive charge gets to the top carbon, then we're able to delocalize that charge out of the ring. So for, um, for this mechanism, when we're looking for similarities and differences in the mechanisms, the thing that we're going to notice the most is four resonant structures in the sigma complex for the ortho and para mechanisms. And that is our answer to question number 16, four resonance structures for the ortho and para mechanisms. And that's a great thing. Again, even though one of those resonance structures isn't super, having four resonance structures is better than having three. So if this, um, if we are to do an electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction on a chlorobenzene or any benzene ring with the halogen, the halogen will um, cause the, uh, the electrophile to be added to the ortho position and to the para position. And now let's answer this last question, question 17, about the rate of the reaction. Will this reaction proceed faster or slower with the chlorine atom present on the ring? So we already have decided that we're going to be doing the ortho and para mechanism. And at first, we might think that having these four resonant structures speeds up the rate of the reaction because that is a good thing. And that is true. Having those four resonant structures is definitely helpful. But just like we saw with the nitro group, the chlorine is a very electronegative element. All of the halogens are very electronegative elements, which means that they are going to be withdrawing electron density away from the ring that's already positively charged. So we have one variable, the four resonant structures, that's helping to speed up the reaction. We have a second variable, the electronegativity of the halogen that's going to be slowing down the reaction. It's kind of, you know, like a battle of which variable is a bigger deal. As it turns out, the halogen electronegativity overrides that fourth resonance structure. And this reaction in general is slower due to the electronegative halogen. Just like with the nitro group, the electronegative halogen withdrawing electron density from that ring that's already positively charged. 